Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link with everybody you have today our topic is what is Islam and right away my Skype is open in case there is any Muslim any Mohammedan any Abdulism believer he is willing to call us and tell us what is Islam the first thing you notice when the Muslims speak about Islam they are the last one to know they have no idea who is Allah they have no idea what is Islam and if you go in the internet you will see a bunch of people making videos left and right and everybody giving you his own idea of Islam but very very few even getting close to what Islam is about so today we will show you together and the proof life proof that Muslims are the last one to know what is Islam and when the Muslims give up of telling us what Islam is about then we will start sharing with you what Islam so my Skype is open for any Abdulism believer is willing to call us live on air and tell us what is Islam it doesn't matter how big how small you are if you are a sheikh even better because you will give us a very shaky information and everybody will laugh so who is the Muhammadans Muhammadanism Abdulism can call us and tell us what is Islam Anyone? Any Muslim? Hello? I mean, this is your opportunity. We don't want people to hear from Christian prince about what is Islam. We want people to hear from Muslims what is Islam. You don't know, don't you? You have no idea, aren't you? You are a person who is born from a Muslim family. They say to you, there is a God, his name is Allah. And there is a black stone Allah he sent. And we go there, we kiss it because the Prophet kiss it. There is a God, his name is Allah. And that's it. Okay, what is Islam? And who is Allah? And what the word Allah mean? No idea. They know nothing. I find Islam is not only a cult, the most stupid, silly cult ever. There's a God, his name is Allah. If I believe in him, he will give me a lot of women for sex. Is that true? There's a God, his name is Allah. If I go and do kill some people, Allah will reward me and give me a lot of virgins and a lot of boys who they are so pretty. With no panties. Who is a Muslim want to tell us what is Islam? And how this Islam can be even something good? Prove me wrong. I just said two things about Islam. I said Islam in a short words. There's a God. His name is Allah. If you believe in him, he will give you women who their legs is up. Non-stop. Prove me wrong. What kind of stupid cult this cult is? Who in the world want to believe? You see, the Muslims, they say, we worship the Creator. We worship the Supreme. We wor What Supreme? What the Creator? Do you have a proof that he pre-created anything? What make him Supreme? Who is he? You don't even know him. You Muslims, you never saw him. You never spoke to him. You never even heard his fault. So what, you worship an idea, a name, but you do not know who is this? Your prophet himself did not speak to him. So who is a Muslim who to tell us what is Islam? Anyone? We don't know. And not only that, when you go inside this city cult, you will find that this cult yet it claim it is fighting paganism, but it is paganism itself. They made Muhammad an idol. They say the Muslims that Islam is against shirk. What shirk? That we have to believe in one God. And here we will talk about the one God thing, which is very silly too. 
because God is one or two or three will not change the fact if your God is true or not. Let us say that there's a guy, he worship uh, coffee maker. And there's only one coffee maker. Is that making him a true believer in a true religion? Well, it's one or two, it doesn't matter. It's still the coffee maker. So a Muslim, he convinced himself that because he believed in one God, that means he we worship the only coffee maker in the world. At least coffee maker can make coffee. Allah cannot. Prove me wrong. Can Allah make coffee? He cannot. So what is Islam? If you are a Muslim, you believe in Abdulism, please feel free, give me a call. My Skype is open. You can give me your ID in Skype and I will give you a call. It's for free. Don't worry. Allah will pay for it. Anyone? And the second you ask a Muslim any question, you will see how, how fast it is a Muslim to turn to be in trouble. Immediately. This is why Muhammad, he came with a verse in the Quran saying, ask no questions. Ask no questions. Why ask no questions? Because those questions are troubling. And even the verse after it in 101, 102, it says why? Because people form a generation before you, they ask the same questions, then they end leaving Islam. They end what? Leaving Islam, brother. So this is religion. It's forbidden for you to ask questions as long as they are serious. But if you want to ask a question, brother, assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother, I want to shave under my arm. What is the halal way to shave under arm, brother? Uh, this is a serious question now and the Islamic nation they sit around the TV to listen how you can shave under your arm but if you ask who is Allah they will kill you if you say how Muhammad became a prophet but you have a false prophecies they will kill you if you ask how to uh, to clean your boogers that's a serious question I remember once in Islamic TV, uh, a woman, obviously she's making fun of those sheikhs, she is, but she's a bad girl, you can tell. She called the sheikh and she started talking like, hmm, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't want to use a bad word, but hello, uh, brother, uh, when I take my clothes off, get naked in the front of the fish tank, my sister told me that the fish start shaking and the sheikh start really shaking, sweating, and he drank a cup of water, one, one spit, like, you know? And the other guy says, uh, sister, <coughs> uh, sister, the sheikh, he will answer you now. And the sheikh, after switching, and he is in trouble because her voice is, you know, you can, oh boy. He said, sister, uh, those, sh sh those fish sisters, uh, uh, mostly they are genie, and they are looking at a beautiful, beautiful body. Beautiful body. Did you see her? Yeah, he, he, he got the imagination from her voice. And uh, sister, I advise you uh, not to take uh, off your clothes in the front of the fish tank because they are doing bad things. Uh, the, the girl, she said, ah, oh, but this is the only room I have. The guy now, he's so smart. He's Abdul. I mean, are, are you kidding me? He said, oh, okay, sister, what about you put a blanket, sister, in the top of the fish tank so the genie who they are inside the fish where they will not see you? This is a serious Islamic program. A fish doing masturbation because she saw a Muslim girl taking off her clothes. Why? Because there is a genie inside the fish. That is Islam. That is Islam. Islam is a silly cult teaching you superstition stuff, stupidity, mental you know, and they, they make what is a stupid as intelligence, and what is intelligence is a stupid. Prove me wrong. Ask any Muslim, do you believe that genie they have sex with a human? They say yes. Have you ever seen a genie? No. That is Islam. Anyone have a different idea?
Penny, was Tim gonna say something? Hello? In Islam, we have a God who promised me if I believe in him, he will give me a golden bracelet. I cannot wait, brother. I cannot wait. But Allah not sure because sometime in the Quran he says bracelet from gold and sometime he say bracelet from silver. Don't ask Allah why because Muhammad is the one who fabricated the Quran and he forgot what he said yesterday. In chapter 18 verse number 31, Allah he promised us rivers going in the Garden of Eden. If there is a Garden of Eden still, where is Garden of Eden? In heaven there is Garden of Eden? Okay. Okay, and then everlasting garden, huh? where is river flow underneath and therein will be adorned with a bracelet of gold. I will be wearing a bracelet of gold. No screen? No, oh, sorry. Excuse me. It's my fault. Thank you, you told me. Bracelet of gold, brother and sisters. Who of us don't want to have a bracelet of gold? And not only that, brother, in Islam, if you believe in Allah, in the God who nobody knows, who nobody knows what his name means from the Muslims, who nobody has seen, nobody heard, if you believe in him, brother, Allah will give you a garment made of a green silk. Hmm. How boring. I will wear for eternity green silk garment. And this garment will never wrinkle, will never be damaged. That's it. You are stuck with it. You go inside, you don't come out. This is Islam. Any Muslim can call me, no problem. <clears throat> How do you answer those saying that if Muhammad was a man of Satan, then why do he teach his uh, follower good manner teaching? What is the good follower teaching? That any Muslim woman she can give herself to the man for three days, three nights, so he can do tested drive. Is that the good teaching? Hmm? Where is the good teaching? Like what? Give me uh, some good teaching, brother. Is that a good teaching? Is it a good teaching that Muhammad says any Muslim woman, she can give her private part to the prophet so he can if you know is that a good teaching is it a good teaching to say to a man if you divorce your wife three times she cannot come back to you unless she go and if a new man is it a good teaching where is the good teaching or what about attacking the neighbor and take their women and their children or maybe you can have sex with the children like Aisha so when people they say Muhammad he brought good teaching, you know, that's that's really funny. Hmm? Uh, if a, a father can have a son, why not other relatives like daughter, other sister? I, I think this guy is a Muslim. He's asking maybe about Christianity, maybe what he meant. My friend, this is because of your limitation of understanding of Christianity. When Christianity says God have a son, does not mean have a male son, and he have a. It's about sex and gender. So obviously, you are the same as the rest of Muslims who think that God have sex with the woman her name Mary, and Mary she gave birth to a baby boy. His name is Jesus. That because of your silly understanding. The Bible says that the Son of God is He who is the Word of God who became in the flesh. And the gender issue, you will see that, uh, you see, like when we speak about God, we say He. But is it really He or she? No. Do our God, the Father, do the Holy Spirit have a gender? No. Yet we say he. 
So this is a figure of speech to, to, to introduce a person. It's not about the gender. But because your brain is limited between your between your legs, so you are thinking about it in such a way. However, the Arab, they are better than the Muslims, if this is what you are trying to, to say, because the Arab in the Quran, they worship females and they call them the daughters of Allah. So here the question will go back to you as a Muslim. Why the Arab they have, why the Muslim you say that women were oppressed before Islam, which is absolutely a big fat lie because Muhammad himself was working for Khadija before Islam. And it's a big fat lie because Quran itself says that the Arab they worship women and they believe that they are the daughters of God. So based on your question, you should ask yourself the same question. Why the Arab they give Allah daughters, but Muhammad, he don't want to give Allah daughters. In the same time, you will see that Muhammad claiming that Islam is against you getting upset from having a daughter, but Allah himself, he got upset. He got upset from what? From giving him daughters and the sons are for you. If we go in the Quran, you will see the God of Islam saying the following. What? Well, is it for you the male and for him the females? This is indeed unfair division. So Allah, He want the male. So why you don't ask your God, Allah, why He's upset from having the females and they are having the male? And what kind of God He says such a statement? Like what? For you the male and for me the female. This is unsure and just uh, division. What the heck? Hello. Hmm. Any Abdul? Who is next? So who is a Muslim would like to give us a call and tell us who is Allah, the one who he like to have male but he don't like to have a female. My friend, stop telling me Abbas wanna call me. If you wanna call me, he can call. He have a, my Skype. What Abbas want to call me? And the Abbas is not Abbas. Abbas is a bus. Ab Ab Abbas is a bus, but he go backward. He can call me. Who is holding him? Any Muslim, any Muslim, big, small, you know, shake, uh, tomato, potato, everybody can. You know, who? As long as you are a Muslim, you are welcome to call me. So, any Muslim? Who is Allah? They don't know. What is Islam? They don't know. All what they know, they are a slave of a God. His name is Allah. Well, nice to meet you, slave. That's it. All what they knew, uh, like, a, you know, Islam is like a, a sign over a door. Uh, but then you try to enter the door, but you see a drawing. There's no door. So you try to enter the door, your head hit in the wall. You know what I mean? Fake door. You think it's a door, but it's not. Anyone? Now look at them. Here we go. We have hundreds of people listening and not a single Muslim there to tell us what is Islam. Because simply they don't know. And if you read the whole Quran, you will find that the Quran obviously is written by an author have nothing to do with the one the Muslims they claim that he is the one is talking. 
Look, in the name of Allah, I mean, who is the one is talking? Allah saying in the name of Allah, that is the most silly, stupid thing. So imagine I'm talking to you, I say in the name of Christian Prince. Hmm. And you will notice that the Muslims are adding verses to the Quran without permission even of their God, because is this is not even a part of the Quran. By the star when it goes down, what kind of God he swear by stars going down and going down where you idiot stars don't go down. What he's talking about. The author of the Quran, he thought the meteor are fading stars. Stars don't fit in the ground. They don't fit in the earth. Down. Yes, and Allah swear by the star who goes down. Okay, I swear by a, 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 a by an onion filling down. Well, what does that mean? What is the purpose of such a swearing? God, he swear by what? In different verse, don't be surprised, Allah even swear by fig. Hungry God. We would not even start reading. And then Allah, he says to the to Muhammad, the, the Muslims, he, Muhammad is not, he did not go astray. Why he was saying that? Because Muhammad was saying crazy stuff. Like what? Like there's an angel come and cut his chest and he took all the zucchini out of his chest. True story. So the Arab try making, start making fun of this crazy man who says stupid things. And who was going to believe in this story? That God before he sent you to heaven he have to send the three angels and why three angels we do not know and then they cut your chest and they take off all the material of your chest and they have to wash it in the water of Zamzam true story who in the world want to believe in such a story do you Is that how Allah prepare people to go to the spaceship? He take their uh, stomach, their balls. They will. This is this is a mister, this is a good story for Mister Bean. Even Mister Bean did not do it. Who want to believe in this? That God he wanted to take his prophet to heaven. He sent the three angels and one of them he cut his chest. He started taking his organs out and he washed it with the water of Zamzam. If you do not know what Zamzam, go watch David Wood. He drink always from it. He have a five liter gallon, gallon of, of, of uh, milk. He always fed with Zamzam. And by the way, Zamzam is arsenic water. Poisoned water. Who is going to believe in this? Do you? Who is an honest Muslim really? He is willing to say, I believe in this. And then what the angel did, anyone remember? After he cleaned all this uh, material off, who remember? Anyone? He stuffed, he stuffed Muhammad with faith and wisdom have you ever heard of a wisdom come in dishes and we push it in the belly of somebody since when i went to amazon and i search dish of wisdom dish of wisdom dish of wisdom i found nothing only in islam my brother and sister you find the religion believe that wisdom and faith and faith too come in dishes if you don't believe me here we go this is the story it's not my words read it Hmm? Any Abdul is willing to call us and read read this amazing story for us? 
So here we go. The three angels they came to Muhammad to make the story short, and then Jibreel, brother, he took him, carry him next to the water of Zamzam. From among them, Jibreel, he took a charge of him. Jibreel cut open this part of his body from here to here, which means from his throat to his balls. That's a long distance. It's like 72 miles. Between his throat and the middle of his chest, by the way, it doesn't say that. Actually, in this hadith, it says a chest, but in different hadith, it says from here to here, which means from his throat to his balls. Depend in the hadith and the reporter. Anyway, and took all material out of his chest. A bondman, a bondman. I like the way Christian Prince he said. Say it again. A bondman. Uh, by the way, a bondman is mean like it's a ab abd, Abdul, and Omen. Huh? Just divide Abdul, Abid, Omen. Uh huh. And wash it with Zamzam water with his own hands. I'm so glad he used his hand, not his tongue or his nose. I mean, so he will use what? I forgot the angel Jibreel. He have hold on Jibreel. He used his own hands. I thought he have six hundred wings. Come on, let it go. And then he cleans inside his body, and then a golden tray. So look, 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 look. You see, hygiene matter. Allah will not use an iron tray or because it might get rusted. So a golden tray containing a golden bowl full of belief a golden tray full of belief are you sure this is Islam Muslim could not call us because they are afraid to talk about it but this is the truth this is Islam Islam is a stupid cult belief that believe come in a tray and dishes but be careful, brother. You don't eat it, brother. You have to cut your chest, brother, and then stuff it inside you. Hold on. Let us read more. So a golden tray containing a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom. Wiz. This is really, really, this is not wisdom. This is dumb. I mean, seriously, this is really dumb. Are you sure it's full of wisdom or full of wiz and dumb? So full of belief and wisdom was brought and Jibreel is stuffed like what the heck stuffed uh, you have to be sure that there's no uh, air left in uh, you know because then the prophet he will have gas so he have to push it hard stuff this is what stuff me like whoosh, 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 push 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 harder until there's more space no more space that's uh, stuffed stuffed is a chest brother so he brought and, and then Jibreel, he stuffed his chest and the throat blood vessels with it. Look at this. The science of Allah. He was able to insert faith and wisdom in the vessels of uh, the nerves. Actually, it says, that, you know, that's amazing. And all of this is coming from his throat, which means if you put something in the throat of somebody, that goes right away uh, and you know yeah true story actually to be honest with you we are all of, always we get our knowledge by this way my miss myself I did not go to school you know I prayed to Allah I said Allah Allah please Allah and then Allah he sent me three men one of them is Jibreel he cut from here to here don't look down okay Stop there. Okay. From here to here. And then he took all the things and he used uh, Clorex to clean it because there's no Zamzam at, the, at my time. And then uh, he brought a uh, dish of wisdom and dish of, uh, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, like, uh, it's, it's very clear, I think. It's very clear. And I'm sure everybody believes in this now. This is what Muslims believe in. 1.4 billion Muslims believe in that. And by the way, they are not even 1 billion Muslims. You are not even 600 million Muslims. You are not even 100 million Muslims. Because none of you even knows what Islam is about. A wisdom and faith stuffed in the chest of the Prophet. And the funny, after Allah, he stuffed 
the chest of Muhammad with wisdom and faith Muhammad he just he reported this story I mean this is a proof that Muhammad was really bad fool because after he installed a dish of wisdom still he is a fool so how bad he was before the dish because reporting this story alone proving that the one who believe in it and the one who made it and the one who say it is a fool because even when you make a lie i mean shouldn't you think about making a smart lie what is it? this this is a smart lie this is chip it lie Any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim who order or Allah receive, he received from Allah a dish of wisdom, willing to call us? Who is a Muslim in the chat you don't believe in this? Who of you don't believe in that? My friend, don't talk about this uh, uh, Christian guy from uh, Indonesia. Let him alone. I forgive him. A hey, poor guy. It's okay. Whatever he is, whatever his intention is, I don't care. I made the video yesterday just to uh, to answer, not him, to answer everybody. Otherwise, we don't care for individuals. You know, I believe he's a poor person, and you know, just let him go. I think it's not his fault. I mean, the Christian, they are putting pressure on some people saying, why you don't do the same as this guy? Why you don't do the same? So he could not take it. He broke out. It's okay. We are here to debate Muslims. We are not here to fight with someone. The vision, as the Bible says, is not from Christ. So if he's a true Christian, still he's my brother in Christ, and I love him, but I had to rebuke some silly stuff he said. That's all. So do we have any Muslim would like to call us? I want to learn Basha, but I need to uh, I, 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 I will get married from a Basha uh, women. Is that is that correct to say Basha women? Basha women because Basha is a language. So there's is there's people they are Basha too? No, yes. If I am Muhammad, I will uh, marry someone from China, one, someone from Indonesia, someone from etc. And then I learn all the languages, brother. 13 languages I can learn. 13 wives. Unbelievable. Ba Bahasa? Ah, Bahasa, not Basha. Uh, excuse my... Because I think Jibreel, he stuffed too much wisdom in my chest, and that's why I'm not uh, reading correctly. It's okay. Basa, basa, basaha, you guys can get confusing. What basaha or bahasa? What, what is that? One of you says bahasa, the other one says basaha. I think the spicy food is taking effect on you guys. Anyway, whatever it is, I mean, who uh, do we have any Abdul here? <clears throat> Anyone? Bahasa, we got it, we got it. Okay, the book, the book. Okay, the book. I speak, uh, by the way, I speak Indonesian I, and I, I can prove it. La book. Muhammad's stories is la book. Allah is la book. And all Muslims who say Allah is God are la book because they have no idea what is Allah is about. Expired God. Hmm? Any Muslim? I'm Lapuk. Why? <laughs> Why I'm Lapuk? So, who's a Muslim want to call us? What's happening? What is the proud Muslims? You are next, Abdul Mustafa. Uh, come on, Mustafa. Why you left Islam? Now you will not get the versions. Don't you want to get the versions? Each one of them here, her bomb is one mind. Be honest. Don't you like big, 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 huge bomb? Man, so beautiful. I never heard of a God. He promised a human being that your wife, she would have a one mile bomb. What if she decided to sit in the top of you? Right? Just for fun. Or she want to spoil you. Right? You would disappear there. 
she will smash you literally oh boy what if she farted and you are smoking a cigarette behind her do you know that fart is a flammable you will be burned alive and she the whole town behind her will be burned anyway let it go let it go but you can use them actually for like a war like two countries are fighting everyone he order his wife to put to to bow, bow down uh, bend over and fought and you just put like a, a, a flame in the front of the true story <coughs> all right hmm. supposedly we have a Muslim I don't know if he's real or not but we will give him a chance Call me the one who's saying Assalamu Alaikum. Even the word Assalamu Alaikum, Muhammad, he stole it from the Jews. This is not Islamic. Let us see this guy. Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa Okay. Brothers and sisters, today you're going to witness the funeral of CP. Today I'm going to get him busted once and for all. Wow, that's good. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> what's, what's, what's the topic for today? Uh, the topic in the front of us that your prophet here received a dish of wisdom and dish of faith and they store it in his chest. Oh, I don't see anything. Wait, let me open YouTube. Hmm. Okay, cool. Um, I, I can I, I, I can see it now, but I don't see everything. I just see the highlighted thing. No problem. You can read the hadith. Two, three angels. They came to your prophet and they cut his chest and they and so they brought with them a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith, and then they took all the belly, the stomach of your prophet, his balls, and they wash it with the water of Zamzam. And now, after that, they put it back and they stuffed your prophet with dish of faith and dish of wisdom. The mic is yours. Oh, I need to read this because I haven't read this before. Um, mm -hmm. Zoom out a little bit so I can read it. So you are not ready for my funeral yet? No, no everyone in the chat is going to witness your funeral today. Okay, so I, answer not... me. Go ahead. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's using the internet of the neighbors. Are hear you there? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. So, what you what do you say? Yeah, no, I just I just asked you if is this Sahih because if it's Daif, there's there's no point. Um, yeah, reading this is it. Da, this is Daif. Hmm. Yeah, then uh, well, then there's no point of me reading it because you uh -huh. know it's Oops. weak. Okay, who said to you that Daif, there's no point of reading it? Who is the donkey he said that to you? Give me the name of the donkey. The, the scholars. You give me one scholar who says that Daif is not accepted. Um, Shabir Ali. Are you a kid or you are a man? My friend, do you want me to send you, send you the link? Uh, send me the link because Shabir Ali, he will. Uh, Shabir Ali, first of all, is not a scholar. You must be. Are you a kid really or you a man? I mean, what are you? My friend, you I said to you, I, I, I said to you, what a scholar he says that you said Shabir Ali. Do even Shabir Ali have a degree in Islam? Uh, yes, he does. No, he don't. No. Go and check his. Okay, okay. okay. Let, let's talk about something else. Let, no, let's not no. Talk about okay. First of all, this hadith is not daif. This is Sahih. This is Sahih al Bukhari. So it's the first thing, the first game you played, it did not work because even daif is accepted. Secondly, this is Sahih. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So what do you say now? Um, I, 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 will, I don't really trust hadiths. I only um, trust the Quran, to be honest. Uh -huh. You trust only the Quran? Okay. So this guy, he said a second ago, if it is Da'if, he don't accept it only. But now because we have it Sahih, it's correct, authentic. So now he throw all the hadith in the garbage. Is that your game? Yeah, but this is man-made. You know, the hadiths are man-made. There's no way to verify them. Ah, so why you, why you, why a second ago you said to me, is it daif or not? Which means there's a way to verify them because when you say, is it daif or sahih, 
that's mean you verify them you as a Muslim by saying that you just admitted that they, uh, they can be verified between Sahih and Daif so you did seek your funeral my friend should we buy a coffin for you my friend let's talk about something else no, let's, no. Let's hold on secondly secondly Abdul this is in the Quran too you said you like the Quran right the hold on hold on didn't you say what that didn't you say that you accept only the Quran in this case yes okay this is in the Quran show me okay we will show you and by the way this is this is Sunni this is not even Shia stuff this is Quran my friend Quran is not no, Shia. I was, I was, Quran no, no, is not Shia. The Quran is not Shia. Is not Sunni. Stop acting like a kid. Here we go. The verses and the Quran in front of you. What do you say? Allah, He okay. opened the chest of Muhammad and He removed the burden. Hmm. What do you say? He just said, "Have we not opened your breast for you?" Yeah, He That's opened. He opened His breast, His chest. And he removed the burden, as you see in the picture. What do you say? Uh, I don't. I think it's a metaphor when it says "opened," as in you know, you know, physically, not literally. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a metaphorical to open the chest of somebody and to remove the burden of somebody. It's a metaphorical. But to to open is like to confess. Ah, so he opened because Muhammad he have a lot of gas to confess. Is that what do you mean? No, I'm talking about no, not not that way, not like that. What way? Tell me what way. It says he opened his chest and he removed his burden. Yeah, as in he he let him confess. Where it says he confess. No, but that's that's what it means. Because where 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 it says that? Where 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 do you get this from? Where do you get this from? How do you know? Okay, can, can show me the interpretation for this. Um for this verse so you don't accept the hadith you accept the interpretation your prophet saying the hadith isn't this is the best interpretation you're a prophet he says that the three angels they come to him and they cut his chest and they open it all the way down to his balls and then they brought a golden tray full of uh, wisdom and faith and uh, this stuff uh, okay. Oh. okay let me tell you something tell me something that hadith is the the sahih al bukhari um hadith is mm. basically for uh, sunnis and and this guy are, okay um, and, you are, and, and you are a shia you are a shia yeah okay so uh, if i show you what the shia say do you accept or you don't accept still yeah, yes i will accept if it's uh, authentic uh, okay what is the books of authentic for the shia as long as you are a shia you you know, you know better come on no you know you know you are the shia not me hello what come on you know don't play no, games no no i, I, I for, because i want to show everybody you are searching google right now you are not Shia okay. because otherwise you will tell me what is the most authentic book of the Shia. Come on, don't play games. Pull up. You don't know, this. right? You don't know because you are not a Shia. Would you mean I'm not, I am a Shia? Okay, tell me what is the most authentic book for the Shia. Oh my God! Don't say oh my God. So oh my Allah or my throat or my blood vessel or my dish of wisdom. Now give me what is the most. Are you searching Google? No. So why you didn't tell me what is the most authentic book of the Shia? You are a Shia. Well, you you know um, Hassan. Um, I go by what um, Al Qutb um, Al Arab. But what 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 is that? What what? We talking about what you what you said? What what the name you said? Give me say say again. Um, Al Hukuk um, Al Shafir. Al Hukuk. Uh, Al <laughs> what 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 say? Say, say again, say again. Al Sahifa, you know, you know, Ali. <laughs> I'm asking you, what is the name of the book which is most authentic for the Shia? You claim to be Shia, and I say you are not, you are a liar. I don't, I don't claim I am. Okay, then you have to tell me. I mean, there is no way you do not know until now. Search in Google. Um, Al what? Kutub, Al Kutub, you know, Al Kutub. Al Kutub means books, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about for the Shia. Okay, what is the name of the book for the Shia? What is the most authentic? Give me names. Most uh, Sunni, they have Bukhari, they have Sahih Muslim, they have so Al Kafi. Thank you, guys. Al Did he say Al Kafi? Okay, he said Al Kafi. All right, we will go to Al Kafi. I asked you, so you will not say later. I don't accept, you know, uh, this book. Because later you will say to me, I don't accept it.
We know. No, no, no. Except I accept. Okay, here we go. All right. Mm. Let us see. This is the book of Al Kafi, and we will show it in the screen. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Sure, sure. Okay. I'm taking a nap. Oh, you are taking a nap? I thought you are asleep already. You're taking too long. Yeah. Is that too much for you? Where are you from? Pa Pakistan, Pakistan. Where are you from? Iraq. Uh, you are from Iraq. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. This is Al Kafi, and let us show it in the screen. You got what you asked for. I want you to read for me. Don't tell me you do not know how to read your book, your favorite book. Do you see it? Read. I, I don't see it. It's in the screen. I don't. There's nothing in the screen, is the, the mm. Quran still. Mm. Refresh the page. Give me a second. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, okay. yeah now it's coming okay, what it says. Okay, what do you want me to start from? Read. It's highlighted. Read. Yeah, but it's Arabic. So you don't know Arabic? No. Okay, do you have Al Kafi in English? I don't. So, how you know Al Kafi is your favorite book if you never have it in English? No, I, that's, for what I'm, that's, that's what I'm um, used to. That's the thing. What do you mean, other things? I'm, I'm used to it, but um, I've never opened it. Ah, so, but you said this is the most the the the, the, the I'm book. I'm not that devoted. I'm not okay. that devoted. I will translate for you. It says that here, that the Imam have ten signs. He are is born and he is circumcised in his penis, and if he fell down in his ass, he say, "Ashhadu la ilaha illallah Muhammad la We're and, talking about. Hold on. And he, when he have orgasm, he don't get dirty. His eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep. He never do yawning and he do never do stretching. He can see his behind and he can see his front. And when he fart or do shit, his shit smell like musk, which means perfume. What do you say? My friend, what are you talking about? This is the book you choose for me. This is the book of Al Kafi, page value number one, page number two eighty eight. What do you say? Okay, but who is this talking about? The Imam, any Imam. All the Imam, all the Muslim Imams, they are people like this. So when they shit, their shit smell like perfume. Do you shit and smell like perfume yourself? Not only that, uh, um, even when they fall, don't, so. don't think so. So you are not an Imam. Thank Allah to that. So now, how? What do you say about this? You said to me, this is the most authentic book, and this is the Al Kafi, volume number one, page number two eighty eight. And I gave you the reference. I can give you the link. You can read it. So what do you say? I'm not saying anything what do because you mean? I don't know if it's authentic. A second ago, you said this is the most authentic, and now you are saying to me you don't think it's authentic. I'm not about the story. I don't know if, if this this um um particular story is authentic. Uh this is because because the particular story is not authentic. Why? Come on, let, let's let's go. Let's go. No, no, no hold on, hold on. Why this story is not authentic? Why? What happened? What make you think it's not authentic? Ah, uh, because there's no way to verify it. I don't know. Uh huh. What do you mean there is no way? So you how how you say to me that this is the most authentic book, and then you say to me there's no way to verify this book. This is something inside the book. My friend, let's let's go to the Quran. Let's go to the Quran. Uh, what happened? We keep jumping like monkeys. I'm asking you now, please. Are you going to answer or not? I just answered you. No, you did not. No. Oh, okay. let, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about okay. um, the Shia. As an example, the Shia they believe that if you wear black shoes, uh, your penis will not work. Is that true? 
if you wear black shoes, your penis is not going to work. Yes. How, that doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense. I agree with you. But does it happen to you? Maybe it happened. And it says, said, not only said, that. Okay, who said this? The Imam. The Imam, the, the imam yes, the Imam. He says uh, that if you wear if you wear a yellow shoes, that will make your penis very powerful. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think that makes sense. Can you go? Can we go to the Bible now? Ah, why do you want to go to the Bible? Aren't you enjoying the teaching of Allah? I don't know who said this. I don't. I don't I've got no clue. You are the one who said to me, "Go and there, and uh, you know, and uh, show me from yeah, my cafe." Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. This sounds silly, so I don't. I don't know what to say. Oh, huh? what? What? What do you mean? It sounds like cartoon movies. I know it sounds like a cartoon. Are you a cartoon too? No. Okay. Now, uh, uh, you see, wh where is the insect they come from? Do you know? Look, I want to ask you something. Is it true? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 okay. No, don't ask me something. What's something? You asked you me already. You answered me. You, 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 answer me. You, you asked me already. You asked me already. No, 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 listen. No, no, listen. My friend. No, I'm, my friend. Not, I'm, not, I'm not your friend. You listen. call me You call me to work in my funeral, and now you are calling me my friend. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, my friend, listen, Aki, listen. Hmm. Um, you as said, as you long as you are talking about my funeral, do you know anything about the funeral of a prophet, his name Aaron in Islam? My Aaron? friend, listen, listen to what I've got to say. Okay, okay, I'm listening, hold on. Is it true, is it true that Harun, he have 40,000 people, they went in his funeral, and all yes, those who yes. they are in the funeral, their name is Harun? Yes, that's true, but listen. Okay, hold on. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So there's 40,000, they went in the funeral of a guy, his name is Harun, and all the 40,000, their name is Harun. You believe in that? If that's what he says, then that, that's what it is. Okay, so this does not sound like a cartoon for you. My friend, let me talk, my friend. Um, um, well, you are talking, you know, because you, you, are, you, said you keep, changing, one of your you keep people, changing topic. I'm saying to you, I'm saying I want to talk about what you said. Why you asked me to show you something from a book and then you say to me, deceiving us, trying to fool us, that you don't accept this book no more? Aren't you the one who my said friend, to me, show me Al Kafi? My friend, listen. Aren't you the listen. one who said, show me Al Kafi? Yes. Okay, so why you don't want Al Kafi now? Yeah, but you showed me something stupid. This is what you have in your books. All of, all, all, okay, give me any page in this book. All of it is stupid. Choose one. No, look, let, let me speak. No, 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 a challenge between me and you choose any page in this book and I will read it. It's just stupid. Yes, doesn't matter. Give you a page. Listen, you're not listening, my friend. No, good, I, no, good, no, good no. Good. you said you said I gave you something stupid. You just say it. You just admit it. Yes, it's not the story is stupid. Like, just, no you just admit it. Just admit it that Islam is a stupid thing because you are the one who said <laughs> this is authentic. Does. This is authentic yeah. book and you accept it. A second ago, you said that to me and now you are saying this book is a stupid. Not the book. I'm saying the story you told me. Uh -huh. oh, oh, the story. This the is the book. The story is in the book. The story is in the book. Look, I want you to show me something. Hmm. So you you're something. Look, you said in one of your videos that Ali burnt people alive. Can you can you show me the reference for that? Sure. If I show you what you will do. No, I just want to see it. Okay, because if I show it to you, you will say I don't accept it anyway, right? No, no, no. Listen, show it to me. Okay. If I show it to you, do you accept it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. But don't show me, don't show it to me from Sunni books and stuff. Uh, stop being a gamer. Ah, see, you're in trouble now. Yeah, see, because but you, 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 uh, <laughs> you refuse the Shia and you refuse the Sunni. We got you busted. Okay, let us see. We go. We will find the story of Ali. Let us see now what you will say. You know why? Here we go. Read it. Do you see it? Yeah, you. Uh, no, no, not yet. You're scrolling. Hmm. Okay. Let me read it. <coughs> hmm. Read it loud. Read it loud, so we can learn English from you. You want me to read it out loud? Hmm. You want me to read it loud? Yes, loud, loud. But don't scream too much. Okay, okay, I promise I won't. Um, Ali burned some people and his news reached Ibn Abbas who said, had I been in his place, I would I, I would not have burned them. As the Prophet said, don't punish anybody with Allah's punishment. No doubt I would have killed them for the Prophet's 
But the Prophet said, if somebody discards his religion, kill him. Hmm. So? Yeah, he says he has, he has burned some people, but not alive. Ah, he burned them dead. Oh, yeah, he was doing barbecue. Yeah, that's what you said in your video. He said he burned them alive, but he doesn't say alive. He Are you stupid some or people, what? It says no. He burned some people. They say burned them. He killed them. He says if I am him, I will kill them. So he killed them by burning them. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but he doesn't say alive. He said he burned. He, they could have ah, been dead. He burned them. He burned them dead. Ah, yeah. uh, how old are you? Me. Yeah. Twenty-four. Okay, let your dad call me next time. All right, who is next? Who want to go in my funeral? I cannot wait. So you see, you show them uh, Muslim Sunni, they say I'm Shia. You show them Shia, he say I'm Sunni. This is the game they play. Islam is about being dishonest, being a liar. <coughs> And by the way, I was very nice with you. I did not even go far. Who is next? Anyone? Who want to go on my funeral? Like this guy, he was so excited. And today, I want to go on your funeral. Okay. <laughs> Brother. Who is a Muslim who willing to call us and sell us? What was Muhammad is about? What is this? What this religion is about? This is the most crazy, stupid religion. And don't worry, be happy. Whatever you say to me, you will be used against you. Be careful. Actually, the Muslim they made that article a long time ago about how to debate Christian prince. If a Christian prince he says to you something good about the prophet, don't say yes, I agree, because he will have something against you. Don't say yes, don't say no. Even if he says something good about the prophet. Don't say yes, don't say no. This is how you can debate Christian prince. Say to him, what's your point? What's your what? What's your point? Because they're afraid. What's your point? He will not answer. What's your point? Hmm. My point that you are an idiot. It's obviously it's an idiot is the one who believed that God will send dish of wisdom and stuff it in the chest of a belly, a stomach of a man. A dish of belief and wisdom. So Muhammad before that he don't have a belief. Allah he sent him a dish of belief. Aren't you Muslim? You say if Allah wants something, he say be is going to be. Here we go. Muhammad, he needs a surgery. There's a defect in the belief of the prophet to the point he needed a dish of wisdom. I oh, know he said, sorry, there's a defect in the in his wisdom, his his brain, and there's a defect in his belief. So Allah needed to fix that. He sent the three mechanic guys. Three mechanic guys. Hmm. <laughs> this is exactly what you Muslims are believing. Sorry. And those are three mechanic guys, they open the chest of your prophet. And they start working, taking the filter off, taking his stomach off. Taking his uh, whatever balls off, what the problem with him? A defect in his faith and his wisdom. Hmm? That is the truth. That is the silly cult of Islam. Hmm? 
Isn't it silly? Yes, this is a silly cult, stupid cult. You have to be very silly to believe in such a garbage, literally. And I challenge you to say to me that this is not silly. And I think the water they needed is just to put it in the radiator, the water of Zamzam. Hmm? This is God teaching. <laughs> if this is God teaching, then what is the idiot teaching will be? Why people lost their mind? Where is your brain? Don't you have a brain? God will fix somebody by saying a three mechanic guys to do surgery to his chest and installing a dish of wisdom, a dish of a faith. Hmm? Or because using the brain will hurt us, so we don't use it. It hurt. It really hurt. And then you call a Christian prince, you say, today I'm going to walk in your funeral. Yeah, right. Bring your diaper with you next time. Someone called Herrick, he want to debate. So, call me. Shall I play for you the tape of uh, Mimi Hijab? Call me. Silence me. Answer me. And Elijah mean God with us, according to Muslims. <coughs> and Allah he pray for, but he don't pray to. Yeah, right. The second you follow this cult, you lose your mind. And we prove it here every day. You know what, Muslims, I can debate you. Even if I am asleep, I will leave, I will leave my toes coming from under the blanket. And let my toes debate you. Actually, I don't cover myself anyway. My toes, my toes can can beat your religion. You see, when a Muslim he talked to me, like sometimes they might make me angry because they try to lie. And I mean, it's so clear. Like now, you know, the guy he burned them, and he says that he burned them; they are dead. You know. So sometimes the Muslim they can get your nerve and make you angry. But in fact, Muslims are very poor people, you know, they, they are, you know, I feel sorry for Allah. He don't have smart people to defend him. Can't Allah encourage you? And okay, what about Allah? He sent a dish of faith and dish of wisdom to those who want to debate us. Anyone? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is next? Uh, hmm. Okay, a Muslim proper. He's saying this is a Muslim. This is a Muslim saying this just to show you. That Shamshun in the Bible, he cut a 300 fox and he torched them in the middle and supposedly he made a fire. Does not make sense. Why not? You cannot catch 300, 300 fox. You cannot. It's mission impossible. <laughs> that is impossible. Why it's impossible? <laughs> I mean, you Muslims are the most silly. Is that a, like is that really a, a big deal to catch three hundred fox? So this is the one for you. Does not make sense to you, but the story here of your prophet makes sense. That's stupid. Like I would agree with you if uh, some shon, some shamsun or shon, in Arabic we say uh, uh, shamshun. 
uh, he, uh, he, he got a, uh, a fox and he installed a dish of wisdom and he made him smart in his side of his chest. That will not make any sense, right? So all what it says there, he captured 300 fox. So what the problem? I used to do hunting and I got hundreds of animals. I used to spend two weeks at least in the desert. I hunt foxes, hyena, wolves, you name it. I go at least every time for two weeks and we use a trap. You can get them alive by using traps. Very simple. You never heard of traps? Idiot. Hmm? Stupidity. Do we have any Abdul? And Abbas, why you don't call us Abbas? <laughs> what happened to the Hadith reference you want to bring to me? It's already more than 48 hours. About the sun goes, brother. <laughs> We are still waiting for that Adita brother where the sun goes brother Yeah, he's driving <clears throat> delivering pizza Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call and tell us what is Islam? Hmm? Any Muslim? If somebody accuse you to be a Zionist, well, hold on. Look like Muhammad was a Zionist. Now we can prove it easy, but he was a fake one. Muhammad, in order to buy the support of the Jews, which he failed to do, he said the following. That the land of Israel is a land assigned only to the Jews. This is a Quran obviously made by a Zionist in this specific verse. Do you see it? Allah assigned the land and Muslim between two brackets, they say Palestine to who? To the Jews. Who is the one assigned this land? Allah. To who? To the people of Moses. Who said that? The Quran. The book of who? The Muslims. Not a single place in the Quran, this book says that this is the land of something called Palestinian. Actually, Allah, he never even know the word. Prove me wrong. Hmm. Uh, Muslim uh, proper just to show you how stupid you are if I make a fire in the middle and then All the foxes will go into the front direction. Obviously the one in the middle. This was this man Is the middle and then they will run they will run for their life So they will go in two direction and In order to understand How a Muslim he think Think about it this way this is a person who believe if you don't say a certain prayer before he go to the bathroom, shaitan will enter his anus. So we have an anus thinking mentality that he is under conspiracy of anus risk. Even shaitan will play with his anus. Shaitan will piss in his ears, sleep in his nose, and he will jump inside his mouth. So a Muslim always when he speak to us, he speak in the conspiracy mentality. For this is a religion of conspiracy prove me wrong that I did lie when I said what I said all of this is in your religion any Mohammedan why your God Allah saying that this land is the land of the Jews and not only that the Jews, they refuse to kill, as you see here, the story, the Palestinian. The Jews, they refuse to kill them. Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way to the land for 40 years.
Do you see? Because the Jews, they did not kill the Palestinians. Allah was so upset. He wanted them to slaughter all the Palestinians. And he punished them by making them not be able to find the land for 40 years. This is in your Quran. And you are talking about Zionist. This verse is made by a Zionist, obviously. Isn't it? Hmm? CP and your friends is liar. How are you, Salamat? Why you don't call me Mr. Salamat? Salamat, Salamat, Salamat. Salamat al Muslimat. Right, we be all my be hard to say yet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is not good. What Salamat? Why you don't uh, call me Salamat, uh, baby? What Salamat? Huh? Call me. <sighs> hmm. Okay, uh, somebody's asking a question. I think she is a Muslim. Okay, let us see what she is saying. After Adam and Eve, all of a human is a sinner and commits sin. Spirit of God is holy and cannot dwell in sinner. Tell me how a spirit of God can dwell inside Maria, for Maria is a human commit sin. That's wonderful question actually now let us go and refute you from your Quran you see the Muslims when they make a question they spank Allah without knowing if we go to chapter 19 where the story of Jesus or Isa supposedly written we will find the following <clears throat> Actually, let's go to this verse first. <clears throat> All right. In chapter 4, verse 171, it says that Mary, she received the word of God and sent to her by the Holy Spirit according to Muslims so what Mary she received she received according to Islam the word not the spirit secondly the word of God is holy the word of God is holy and the Quran confirmed that Mary was obviously a holy women how we can confirm that the Quran says that Mary she never been touched or either commit sin this is why her son which is called the Isa he is a holy person too if we go to chapter 19 verse 19 it says that Isa is a holy son let us go to the Quran And by the way, if you don't like any translation you like, we can change the translator just to make you happy. So here, if uh, if uh, if what this Muslim she said is it true, that means Jesus or Isa himself should not be holy. So how the Quran call him holy? Because remember, every son of an Adam is not holy. That's what she said. He's a sinner since Adam and Eve. But as you see the Quran, Confirm that Jesus is a holy son. Why? For he is not really the son of anyone, for he is the son of God. He is a son of Mary by birth, but he is not from Mary. He is the word of God who came down to Mary, and then she gave birth to the word of God as a man. So he is exist before his birth. He was exist where? In heaven. So he was in heaven 
and his birth does not change the fact that he was exist before his birth this is why the Bible says Jesus said before Abraham I am so as you see you are a Muslim you believe that every human being is a sinner yet the Quran confirmed that Jesus is a holy son holy son of who if you say he is the holy son of Mary that means Mary is holy correct guys because where he got his holiness from from where he inherited or because he is the Word of God so either way you got yourself busted if you say he got that from Mary that will be silly of you because we don't we do not inherit inherit a holiness even the Quran confirmed that so what make Jesus holy he is just born but yet he is holy what make him holy because simply he is a son of no man. This is why your prophet says, Every son of a human is a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam. Do you see it? And that explains why only in Islam Jesus have no father, but yet he is born. You see, the Quran is made by a silly person. Claiming that Jesus is the same as Adam, which is, very silly how we know it's very silly because Jesus is not the same as Adam and none of them none of them fit what Muhammad he says in the Quran read me carefully the similarity of Jesus before Allah is the same as of Adam he created him from dust and he said to him be and he was that is very stupid a statement because the Quran chapter 25 verse 54 says وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا Every human being is created after Adam from birth by sex, by sexual relationship, by marriage. Except Jesus, my friend. There's only one person in this universe according to Islam and according to Christianity. He is born yet is not from sexual relationship and here you as a Muslim you to explain to us why what is that going to make a difference if Jesus is the same as Muhammad he is born from a father and a mother correct guys what is for same as any prophet as as long as Jesus is just a prophet we understand that Adam he have no father no mother because simply he is not born he is created from mud but why Jesus needed or what is the wisdom everything happened for a reason you need to ask yourself okay the story here that Jesus have no father what is behind it what will happen if Jesus have a father people will not accept him to be a prophet of God actually it's the opposite because according to the Quran people they accuse Mary that she committed adultery so people even will reject him more and this is a miracle nobody can prove my mother she can claim that she gave birth to me and she was a virgin so what is the reason for this story Muslims have no answer because this is a story they stole it from the Bible they adopt it and they put it in the Quran and therefore no Muslim dare to debate about it or even to question if it's true or not trust me if the Quran never mentioned that Mary she was a virgin the Muslim they will make fun of you day and night 24 hours a day do you agree? Why no Muslims says this is funny story? This is a stupid story because it's in the Quran. If it's not in the Quran, they will laugh at you. Now, if you ask the Muslims, why Jesus have no father? Hmm? Any Muslim can tell us how I will have a son and I never there is no man touch me actually it doesn't say that in Arabic by the way the language in Arabic is very filthy it says walam akun bagiyya bagiyya mean I was not a whore I mean Allah could not find the word that Mary she would use Mary she said I'm not a whore
So here you understand that Mary, she must be a very special person chosen by God. And you Muslims, you have to admit with that. Even your prophet, he says, the best of women in mankind is Mary. For the Shia is Fatima. Hmm? Now, if we go back to this verse where it says that Jesus is the same as Adam, this verse alone proven to us that Islam is false. Anyone knows why? We explained before many times. Who remember why this verse proven Islam to be false? This verse alone. Who remember why? Look what it says here. He is similar to Jesus before Allah. Why he is similar? He created him from dust. And then he said to him, be and he was. But Allah did not create Adam by saying be and he was. Neither Jesus created from dust. The creation of Jesus according to the Quran, Allah, he sent, he sent an angel to tell Mary and then Allah, he breathed into the private part of Mary. Yes, the private part of Mary, vagina. This is what the Quran says, farjaha. Where Allah, he said be, never. Where he said was, never. So he said, he, he came to Mary and he breathed into Mary private part and this is how supposedly the word of God inserted as a spirit of God into Mary. This is what the Quran says. If you don't believe me, I can show you the verses. Here we go. Hmm? The first verse here, chapter 15, verse number 19, 29, sorry. It says how Allah created Adam. As you see, he did not say to him, be, and he was. He fashioned, he fashioned Adam from mud. So he was first, he, he, to make mud, by the way, you have to mix water with, with soil, as simple as that. So the first step is to mix water with soil. Okay, second step, we fashion him as a man. As you see, he fashioned a shape of a man. And after he fashioned him and completely, he breathed into him. So what is the word be and he was? Anyone see the word be and he was? So that verse where it says that Adam is the same as Jesus is a stupid verse because Allah never created Adam by such saying be and he was. Neither created Jesus by saying be and he was. So this verse alone proven to us that the one who made the Quran is taking too much hashish. This is a lot of hashish. Hash, hash. And if there is any Muslim, can prove me wrong for free. It's in the front of you. How Allah created Adam and Jesus by saying be and he was show me the verses in the Quran where Allah created Adam by saying be and he was and how he created Jesus by saying be and he was never Allah no my friend the word of Allah is not Jibreel not even Muslim believe in that don't 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 drink too much alcohol. Any Abdul? So the story in the Quran about Jesus proving to us that Jesus must be very special. He is not like anyone in this world, not like Adam. Proving to us that the one who wrote this verse is a stupid. He's just trying to downgrade Jesus. This is an antichrist verse. See, in one side of the Quran, Muhammad was trying to praise Jesus, saying he is a great person, etc. In another verse, saying Jesus is no one. <clears throat> Why? Muhammad is the same as Obama. 
Obama, he sit with the Muslims, he's a Muslim. He go to the Israel, he visit the temple, he wear the hat of a Jew. He sit with the atheist, he make he make fun of the Bible. He sit with the communists, he's a communist. He sit with the conservative Christians, black African Christians. He hold the Bible and he say, I believe in it. Obama, that is Muhammad. Muhammad between the Christians, he say good things about Jesus. Muhammad between the Jews, he never mentioned Jesus. He speak about Abraham, Isaac, and he praised them. For he was desperately trying to find followers. And if you have a question, ask no questions because Muhammad have no answer. Hmm? Prove me wrong. My Bible is not true. Okay, I will go with this Muslim just to show you how easy to refute Muslims. I will give you an example. Actually, by the way, what we do here is to teach the Christians how to get them busted. Isn't it fun? Your Bible is not true. He just admitted that Islam is not true. Because according to Islam, Allah is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah. So when you say to me that the Bible is not true, you just admitted that your God, Allah, is a potato. And he cannot protect his books and we cannot trust him to send books because he sent books yet he cannot protect his own books because this is not my book you see at the end of the day if the angel is sent by Allah that means this is belong to Allah correct so when a Muslim Abdul <clears throat> I hope I will not lose my voice. I drank coffee. Always when I drink coffee, I lose my voice. But I cannot, I cannot resist it. <laughs> let, us, let us put this uh, uh, statement of this Abdul here. When this Abdul, he say, your Bible is not true. He just said that the Bible of Allah is not true. Right? He just said that. The Bible of Allah is not true. Okay, I agree. The Bible of Allah is not true. And if you say to me that we corrupted the Bible, that means Allah is a partner with us. Because according to Islam, nothing happened in this earth, neither in heaven, without the agreement of Allah. Hmm? And not only that, Allah He wrote our destiny. Remember, is corrupting a book of God a disaster? Yes, and the Muslims agree. Okay, but the Quran says, No disaster, nothing wrong happened in this earth without the approval of Allah. It's Allah's decision, not our decision. All those verses are speaking about that. Do you see it? No misfortune, nothing bad can happen on earth or in your soul, but is recorded a degree. It's a degree, it's a, it's a, it's a destiny. We bring it into existence. So who is the one who brought the corruption existence? Allah, the devil. Do you see it? Prove me wrong. Allah, he decreed. <clears throat> Allah, he decreed that the book, his book, should be corrupted. This is what the verse is saying. Hmm? Who is next? Who want to do better? Try. Try. The Bible confirmed everyone is sinner. Yes, everyone is sinner. This is why I said that Jesus is not from anyone is sinner. Jesus is from God. And this is why your prophet said 
that shaitan he tried to touch everyone in his birth except Mary and her son so according to the Quran according to the hadith Mary and her son are protected by God from shaitan hmm? let us show you the hadith And then you need to tell me why. That will explain to you from your cult. You see, if I answer you from the Bible, you will keep playing games saying, I don't believe in this, I don't accept this. So I'm not going to waste my time. Here we go. Let us go to the hadith and see what it says about Jesus. Read with me. So according to your religion, Mary and Jesus, they have a special protection. Satan cannot do any harm to them. And what the, what the point of this uh, shaitan touching you, it's been making you a sinner. <clears throat> Can you explain to me why? Why Jesus and Mary? See, it's Mary is included. So if you are saying that every human being is a sinner, you see the Bible says that, and even Quran says that, and even Hadith says that, but as you see, not Mary, not Jesus, according to your prophet, because Shaitan, he, he was not able to transfer sin into them. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, very authentic hadith. So here we see that Mary and Jesus are above mankind in Islam, in which way sin cannot affect them. And why Mary is protected? The answer is very simple, because of Jesus. So where Mary she get her protection and what is the reason because she is carrying the word of God because of Jesus not because of her because of Jesus and this is what the Quran is saying and this is what the hadith is saying so are you going to say to me now I refuse this you see I did not use even a single verse from the Bible because if I spend my day explaining to you from the Bible you will say I don't accept the Bible anyway but I just showed you from your prophet mouth or his nose that Jesus and Mary are special. They are not like any of a human being in Islam. And now you need to explain to us why. Why Shaitan cannot do that? Shaitan, he can do this. He can touch Muhammad, but he cannot touch Jesus. Right? Sin is already in every human being in this world. After Adam, so many know this is not true. Sin is not in every human being. That's stupid. That's that's not what Christianity teach. Just to show you how stupid this argument is, sin already in every human being in this world after Adam. That's not true. Jesus says, if you don't become the same as those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of God, of my Father. Correct, guys? Which means the little ones, they are pure. So when we say original sin does not mean we are born and uh, sin is in our blood running. No. This is not what Christianity teach. Sin started with Adam, but did not stop with Adam. This is what we believe in. We are sinners too. But if you are born with sin, if as you think, well, this Jesus, he said, the way to go to heaven is to be the same as the little one. That's mean they are pure. So we earn sin by doing sin. And this is what original sin is about. 
is not about because Adam is a sinner, I uh, I have no choice but to do sin. No, because the Bible says, "Be holy like your Father," which means you have the nature of Adam, which means a nature can be tempted, a nature can be fail, a nature which you know, but still that nature can be powerful too. As Jesus, he came with this nature down to this earth, yet he did not commit sin. So Jesus, he took the nature of man, yet he could not commit sin. And that will take the excuse from anyone to say, oh, I have a nature of a human being, and because of that, I'm going to commit sin. It's a must. That is Islamic teaching. This is why the Bible order us to be holy. It's a project to work in. And this is why we believe there's people who they are saint. And what does that mean? They fought sin, they resist sin, and they were able to conquer sin. But does not mean they never commit sin all their life. So you have a very wrong understanding, a very long logic. Actually, I think you are just copying and pasting. You don't understand what you are talking about. Uh, somebody said somebody is being silly. The lizard, he have no father. He must be equivalent to Jesus. Uh, I think you are a very silly person and very stupid. And you are not worth to be between us. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? This is not a verse. This is a statement of Muhammad. In Islam, statement of the Prophet, they call it Hadith. And they have six authentic books of Hadith. And this is Al-Bukhari, the most authentic one. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan willing to call us? Until now, we have only one Abdulism made a call. Anyone? Who is a follower of Abdulism religion or cult would like to call us and show us or tell us what Islam is about? Forget about everything we said until now. Who want to tell us what Islam is about? They don't know. Who is Allah? They don't know. You go to YouTube, you will find such a videos like here. The guy, he says, brother, we worship Allah and Allah is a Rabb and the word Rabb means the creation, the creator. That's a stupid statement. Rabb does not mean the creator necessarily. Rabb is a word mean Lord. It can be even for a woman. We have a poetry. It says, Rababu Rabbatul Bayti. Stupid Mufti Mink. Rub, brother, when we say Rub, we are not worshipping a stick, brother. We are worshipping the Creator. The word Rub only used for the Creator. That big fat lie. The word Rub even used for a woman. She have 10 chickens, and I just quoted the poetry. And one rooster who have a nice voice. And the word rub is not even an Arabic word. It's an Aramaic word used by the, 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 the Hebrew and used in Arabic, but both of them, they took it from the Aramaic. So if you are using the word rub and you say the word rub, always a must to be about God, that means you believe in the God of the Aramaic. The family of Abraham who worshipped the moons and the stars according to you and Abraham by the way himself according to Islam he worshipped the moon the Sun the stars yeah this is where the word rabbi came in from rabbi idiots they bring them they put them in the stage they have big mouth they say nothing true
يعني يا عبدول Who is a Muhammadan Abdul would like to give us a call and tell us what is Islam? Nobody knows. Show us the proof. Hold on. I mean, this guy, this guy Abbas, sometime, like Abbas, I think he is like 30 years old. I don't know how old exactly he is, 30, maybe 35. But he act like a kid. Uh, Christian Prince, can you show us uh, 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 the, the, the six uh, Sahih uh, books prove that uh, Dawood and Nisa'i at Turmudi authentic books? Hmm. And if I show you what you would do? Do you promise me to call me? And, and apologize for being ignorant? Huh? Let us take a snapshot of Abbas doing poo-poo just to make him enter history as usual. This is your Islamic website, Halal Blaza, the Sahih book, brother, the six authentic books. The six authentic books. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan al Nisa'i, Sunan al Abi Dawood, Dami al Turmudi, Sunan ibn Majah, Ta la 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 la. Are you dancing, Abbas? So, Abbas, who is the donkey here? Christian Prince, can you show me? Brother. I mean, how full you are, man. Just make type in Google. Prophet Google will help you. So you are 35 years old until now you do not know that those are the most authentic books of Islam. What's wrong with you? I mean, this guy, it looked like he enjoys spanking. Hmm? Is that your words? Yes, it's your words. Everybody is laughing at you. And those are the books. Stupid. You know, Abbas, he remind me of somebody. I'm not going to use the word because somebody liked to be spanked. So he wanted to hunt a lion. He took with him uh, 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 like a shotgun, but it's one bullet. So he went to the wood and he found where the lion, he sleep. So he shot uh, one shot. This is the only shot he had. The lion wake up, he says to him, either you let me eat you or, or I will spank you. Uh, by the way, I replaced the word spank from something else in the original joke. So the guy, he said, okay, spank. The lion spank him. He make him bend over. He spank him. The guy second day he come with the gun have two bullets. He shot it twice. He missed the lion. The lion wake up again. He said, "Either I eat you or I spank you." The guy he said spank me. The lion spank him. And the same guy. His name is Abbas. He came the third way, third day to the wood. He have three bullets. He shot three bullets and he missed the lion. Again, the lion wake up and he says to him, either I eat you or I spank you. The guy, he said, spank me. That's Abbas. Abbas, he went back and he came back the, the day after with four bullets. Until it became 30, but he got an AK-47, have 30 bullets in the magazine. The lion, he wake up and he says, look, what's wrong with this guy? He says to him, are you going here to for hunting or for spanking, you idiot? Because now he have to have spank him 30 times. And that is Abbas. It doesn't matter how many bullets he have, always he miss. 
and he gets spanked and he came the second day for more spank again i replace the word spank from the original words in the in the joke which is very harsh hmm? Are you going for spanking or you are coming for hunting, Abbas? Because each time you say something, you get spanked for yourself. For everyone is a sinner, lost his glory. CP deny that. That's stupid of you. It says everyone is a sinner, and that is goes for every human being who is an adult, because God judge us by the fruits, and children have no fruits. This is why Jesus says that children they will go to heaven, and that is a stupid of you. Uh, what your name, he uh, Herrick? Everyone is a sinner. That goes for those who they are. They can recognize what is sin. As an example, if we have a child, he is one day, one year old, and he die. Do he even know what sin mean? If you put his poopoo in front of him, he might swallow it and eat it. So you think God, he believed that this little tiny creature is a sinner? That if you believe in that, that's stupid of you. This is why Jesus says, you cannot enter the kingdom of my father unless you are the same as the little one, which means innocent and you fight your sin. However, every human being is a sinner, and this is absolutely true. But we are talking about those who they are mature so they can be judged for their sin this is why the bible says from their fruits you shall know them fruit of children's are true fruits of ignorance they are children they are not aware so they will not be judged by any fruits this is why children they go to heaven so if you die and you are a child actually you are lucky one because you go to heaven for you commit no sin however you're a prophet don't agree with that you're a prophet he believed that Allah made everyone go to hell or to heaven before he created him even if he commit no sin and let us see that Muhammad and Aisha they went to a funeral and Aisha she said after attending a funeral an infant this child he is going to end in heaven. He is a bird from the birds of paradise. And this is Sahih Hadith. Muhammad, he said to her, Don't be stupid, Aisha. It might be the other way, which means he might go to hell. How is that? Read carefully. Allah Messenger, she said, Aisha, happiness for this child who has, he is a bird from the birds of paradise. So we Christians, we agree with Aisha that the children, they are birds of paradise in the mean they will enjoy paradise, not being a bird or chicken. For it committed no sin, nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. That's absolutely Christian teaching. This is what Jesus said. The little one, come to me. They are people of heaven before you. He said, Aisha, per adventure, it might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. What? Why he will go to hell? Because Allah created for paradise those who they are fit for it while they are in their father backbone. And he created for hell those who are going to go to hell <coughs> while they are in their backbone, the father backbone. So what Islam teach, I need to get some water. Islam teach that it doesn't matter you commit sin or not. Allah, he made a decree before he made you who will go to hell, who will go to heaven. And which means Islam is a stupid cult because here it's proven to us that it is not what you do. It is what Allah decreed for you. All right? Uh... Hey, my friend, when I agree with the inheritance, the inheritance of the nature, when we say we inherited from Adam, this is true, but we inherited the nature, which is a sinner nature, but doesn't mean that you are born with sin. 
you don't you are not born with sin you do sin all right so obviously you don't have a, a clear understanding of the Bible my friend this is this is why Jesus he said uh, that the children they are people of heaven any Muslims You see the children, they are children of Adam. <coughs> Let me get water. Where is my water? <coughs> All right, let's see what Jesus said. All right. If we go to Luke, just as an, as an example. Let us see what the Bible says. <clears throat> and they brought into him also infants that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them, which means stay away, keep away, keep a distance from the Lord. But Jesus called them into him, and he said, Suffer little children. Let the little children come to me and afraid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, who is ever shall receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall, is, uh, 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 shall in no wise enter therein. So what do you want more proof? So if you are claiming that we are born with sin, which means we are sinners, then those children should not and they don't deserve to go to hell to heaven because they have sin so we inherited the nature of adam which is a nature can be tempted do sin do etc and this is true but god judge you always by sin you commit not by son by sin you inherited we don't inherit really sin literally we inherited that we are out of heaven because of Adam. Adam and Eve are of heaven. So original sin started by a man, but did not stop there. And we deserve still to be out of heaven. However, if you are like the infant who never commits sin, and they are innocent, you belong to the heaven of God. So should we explain it more or you are deaf? Maybe now we will say Jesus is wrong. What is next? This is Jesus talking. This is not me. So God, he judged you because you understand what is right, what's wrong. And that is fair. So when we reach the age of understanding, then we know what is right, what's wrong, and then we start committing what is wrong. And because of that, we say we inherited the sin because we do the same as Adam. We are no better. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? You see, the teaching of Christ is very amazing. It's so easy. It's so simple and it's so deep. But some of us, we read only the words. We don't go deep on them. Show us other things we do not know about hadith. You know nothing about hadith. You see what I share with you here about Islam is not even 1% of what Islam is about. But always I focus in topic. If you ask me a question, suddenly I show you something you never heard of, right? 
but you have like a, my, my brain is like a big library and there's tons of books and then you have to ask a question which will bring that book Any Muslim would like to call us? Any Abdulism? Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Anyone? No Mohammedan. Okay, no problem. I mean, it's your loss. We are giving you a chance to explain Islam to us, to show us Islam is wonderful, and you don't want to do it. So, don't blame me. How many times I said any Muslim want to call me? A hundred times since I started? Maybe more. They don't want to call me. What I would do? We have only one Abdul. He called me, and he said today he would walk in my funeral. And we know what happened after. Somebody saying he is my daddy. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if you know who is your daddy. And as long as you are a daddy, why you don't call daddy? Show me how good you are, daddy. Or you are daddy in the text. Take a challenge and let us see what the scholars say about the hadith. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, uh, Muslim, uh, uh, Muslim proper, Muslim idiot. Listen, Abdul. <clears throat> Give me a Muslim website you approve. Let me show you something. Give me a second. I'm going to open a website for you. And you tell me, do you agree with those websites? Do you believe that those are websites of scholars? Is this website good for you? I'm going to post it in the text and show everybody. Is that website a Muslim Islamic website which you trust? Are you there, Abbas? Is this an Islamic website you trust? Okay, we will do another challenge. Abbas, give us an Islamic website you trust. It says that those are not Sahih book. Book themselves, the wonderful guys. What about book themselves? Okay, book themselves. Okay, what is the books? What is the book says a Turmudi is not Sahih? What is the book says a Nasa'i is not Sahih? Hmm? Don't worry about the screen, guys. I mean, let me put something for you guys in the screen. Here we go. By the way, this beach by the brother created by Allah. Hmm. Now, actually, just to show you how silly, how stupid Islam is. The Prophet of Islam says, don't write hadith after me.
And this is Sahih. And because Islam is a stupid cult, they write down, the Prophet says, don't write hadith after him. He just said to you, don't write the hadith, you idiot. Which means all your books are supposedly, they are false. Muhammad, he says, only take the Quran. And then you Muslim, you write down that the Prophet says, don't write a hadith, but this is a hadith. And you wrote it down. And the one who wrote this hadith, he wrote thousands of hadith after it. But the Prophet said, don't write hadith. Do you see how silly this stupid cult is? It's like your prophet saying, don't write in the wall, and then you take a paint or a spray and you say, the prophet says, don't write in the wall. Writing in the wall. This is why I say this religion is religion of stupidity. The guy, he just told you, don't write my words. Only Quran. Now, is this hadith is sahih or not? It is. So what we will do now? So in order for Muslims to get away from their stupidity, they try, they try to debate you about what is sahih in Islam, what is not sahih. Actually, the debate itself proved to us Islam is not valid because now you are saying to me we have a lot of farting in Islam. The stones of books in Islam are not valid. Is that one in the screen is one of them? Is the one where your prophet said the sun is set in murky water is one of them? Is that one where the prophet he says if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy is one of them? Hmm? What? What we will do? Which one of them is the wrong one? All of them. We stick your yard is stick in the Quran not in the Bukhari. Okay, show me in the Quran how much you will pay the cat. Show me in the Quran where it says how to pray. Show me in the Quran how to do salah. The Quran says, as an example, you pray only five times or three times. It says three times. The hadith says five times. When is the punishment of rape in the Quran? You stick with the Quran, right? Okay, show me the punishment of rape in the Quran. What is the punishment of a married man who is committing adultery in the Quran? Can you show it to me? When you say my Bible is corrupted, you prove to me that Islam is stupid because this is your Bible, supposedly my Bible. Isn't it? This is a Bible supposedly sent by Allah. So this is a proof to us again that Islam is a stupid cult. So look what the Muslim they are saying, just to show you the stupidity. He started saying that the hadith is corrupt. The hadith is corrupt. And now he's saying to us, the Injil of Allah corrupted too. <laughs> Who can trust this Allah? Who can trust this Allah? Nobody. Because you just said that your Allah book is corrupt because this is not my book. You see, when you say your Bible, that's mean you are a certified donkey. Either in Christianity or in Islam, this is not my book. This is the book of God. So what you are saying to me, the book of your God, who supposedly is the one who sent the Injil, the gospel of Jesus, and the Torah, the book of Moses, is Allah, yet the book of Allah is corrupt. Okay, so what's my problem? It's your problem again. So look what happened now. He just said that the prophet's stories all is fabricated. And now we have Allah's stories fabricated too. Yeah, I'm sure that the Quran says a pray three times. I'm very sure, Abdul. Very, very sure. Hmm? And the one who made Muhammad pray five times, it was a Jew. His name is Moses. And this is from Sahih al-Bukhari. 
So you see, when the Muslim he says that the book of Allah are corrupt, that's it make us actually accept Islam to be a stupid cult because those Muslims believe that their God cannot protect his own books because Allah and the Muslim claim that Allah is the one who sent this book. This is not our book. Injil is the book of Allah according to Islam. Torah is the book of Allah according to Islam. So when a Muslim he says the Torah is corrupt, he is saying that Allah got spanked in his ass and he could not protect his book. That is the point. So how we can trust Allah? Not only that, the Muslim believe that Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet. Okay, where is their books? Corrupted the brother. So we have the most stupid God ever. Imagine you have a dog, and you ask him to guard one hundred twenty-four thousand chicken. And you come back home, you find only when a chicken is alive. That is Allah. 124,000. Let me type the number just to show you how small it is. A brother. 124,000 prophet. Which means we have 124,000 messages. Sent by Allah, brother. One hundred twenty-four thousand book. What the heck? Okay, brother. How many books of Allah is uh, exist today, uh, brother? There is only one book, brother. What? What? And then even this book, we find that the God ate it, and Uthman burned it, and the Muslim corrupted, and they changed the location of the verses. Read for us chapter what? <clears throat> uh, chapter 20, verse 130. Okay, we will read for, uh, just to show you how this guy is a kid. Chapter 20, verse number. Let me show you what he said in the screen. Okay, ZB, read for us the chapter, uh, brother, chapter uh, 20, verse 130. Okay, we will go there. And people will be laughing at you in a second. <clears throat> Here we go. Just to show you that you are a certified donkey. You are the one trying to prove to me that Quran teach free a five prayer. Read it. Where is the five prayer? Where is the five prayer? He mentioned three. The two end of the day, already he mentioned it in the verse. Before the sun rise and before the sun set and before the, the, the night come three time This is three time the verse you gave me it says three time Stupid here we go just to show you another verse in the Quran Copy paste, copy paste nation. Hmm. Chapter 11, verse 114. Do you see it? Between two brackets, the Muslim, they add five. You see it? This is not in the Quran. Fabrication. If you change the translator, you will see the word five disappear. Change the translator. Here we go. Go to Big Tal. Let us see. Where is the word five? It's not there. So what you worship? The two end of the day and the approach of the night. This is exactly the verse you gave me. It says the same. The two end of the day, the sunrise, the sunset, and the approach of the night. Stupid people. This is your Quran. 
And if you are saying that verse says five and this verse saying three, that's mean Quran is a stupid book. Hmm? Side not end. What side not end? Ah, side not end. Ah, okay. Well, this is the end of the day, you idiot. And as long as you are saying line, here we go. This is your translation saying the two end of the day, you donkey. Not me saying that. I'm reading your translation. And does it make any difference? You say the two end or the two side? That is the two end. Any Abdul? Who's next? The Quran is an empty book. Okay, have you ever heard of a God he have time to tell us about the conversation between an aunt and her friends? But you don't have time to tell us what is the punishment of rape. Who is a Muslim want to show me the punishment of rape in the Quran? Which one is more important? An ant is speaking to an ant, which is a funny, stupid story and not a true. Or to tell us what is the punishment of rape. What is the punishment of adultery for a married man in the Quran? Who want to show us? Uh, this, uh, this Muslim, she is working hard and I feel sorry for her. She said, look, so where was Jesus before the age of 30? And what Jesus did before the age of 30? We'll ask your prophet why the story of the in the Quran doesn't say anything about Jesus, only a few lines. And what about your prophet? What happened to your prophet before the age of 40? Do you see how silly the Muslims are? So why you don't ask the same question if you are really a decent person? Muhammad, he became a prophet after he became 40. So what he was doing before 40? He was worshipping idols and we can show that from the Quran. So Muslims are very silly, very silly. Now the Bible tells us what Jesus was doing and even the Quran take miracles which supposedly Jesus did when he was a child he was young and he said that in the Quran that Jesus created from the mother bird and this is taken from Bible which is rejected by us that Jesus when he was a child he made miracles and even he created from the mud birds Now, can you answer me what your prophet did before the 40? No. Oh, he was busy having sex with an older woman. She is 25 years older than him because she is rich. And not only that, the Quran says that Muhammad not only is a prophet, but he's a very bad prophet. Proving the Muslim to be lying when they say Muhammad was Abrahamic. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying the following that Muhammad never was a believer. He's a pagan all the way. <clears throat> Let us read together what the Quran said and people will love about this madness. Who is a Muslim want to call me and read the verse I'm going to put in the screen? And explain that verse for us. 
Anyone? This is your Quran. Quran saying at the age of 40, Muhammad has no faith, which means he is not Abrahamic, never was, and he knew nothing about God. Not me. Do you see it? Chapter 42. Verse number 52. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. This is just a one of the donkeys translation. Which donkey you like? Which donkey you like to switch his translation? You want uh, Yusuf Ali? This is Big Tal, I think. This is Big Tal, yeah. Let us go to uh, uh, Yusuf Ali. Maybe Yusuf Ali will sweet you more. There we go. This is Yusuf Ali. All right. Who want to explain to us what happened? How Muhammad, he is a man. He is 40 years old. But he is not Abrahamic, he never believed in God, and he have no faith. So what, he was atheist? No, he was a pagan who kisses stones. And after Islam, still he kisses stones. Any Abdul? So while Jesus in the Quran was born as a prophet, Speaking in the cradle, making miracles from the first second of his life because he just spoke in the cradle. That's a miracle. And Jesus himself is a miracle for he is born with no father. So look at Jesus. He is not only making miracles, doing miracles, but he himself is the miracle. So while Jesus was a miracle, born as a miracle, he is the miracle of God and God is a miracle. Muhammad has no faith. And Muhammad do not know what is revelation, which means he never encountered any scripture of any God, true God. And he have the wrong faith. Is that my words? No, it's your Quran. And we can change any translation you wish. Actually, I'm, I'm just changing translation just to make you happy. This is Shakir. I will go to Sahih International. Hmm? Which one? And thus we have revealed to you inspiration of our command. And you do not know what is book. So Muhammad, he never know what is book. He do not know anything about the gospel. He do not know anything about the Torah. So he was a pagan person. And you do not even know what is faith. What the heck? Muhammad have no faith in the true God. Who is saying that? Allah. Hmm? Who is next? So we answer you about Jesus. While Jesus was in the cradle, he was doing miracles. And then we go. And we see the Muslims giving us a very funny story about their prophet. What is the most popular prayer the Muslim they pray every day? Some Muslim can tell me, please. What is the daily prayer you, you use? Al-Fatiha, right? Anyone knows, guys, how Muhammad received Al-Fatiha? How Muhammad received Al-Fatiha? Is it true that your prophet here received the chapter of Al-Fatiha during the time he was doing poo-poo? The prayer you pray every day, five times a day, Muhammad, he received it during the poop, and he used to run when he heard the voice of the angel and his panty between his legs. Am I lying? This is your website. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Ahlul Bayt Institute, Amman, Jordan, you can call them, owned by the King of Jordan himself. Hmm? <clears throat> Your prophet received Quran during the time he do poo poo. Each time he get out to do poo poo, he hear a voice. The Messenger of Allah said that <clears throat> whenever he used to go out, he hear a voice. 
call him Muhammad. And when Muhammad he hear the voice saying Muhammad, he run away, he flee, and his popo is coming between his legs. So Waraq ibn Nawfal, which is the real father of Muhammad, which his name always appear everywhere. Whenever he went out, he used to hear the voice calling him. So Waraka said to him, Muhammad, why you don't stop? He used to flee. Why, why he is he fleeing? Muhammad already received many verses in the Quran. Isn't it the angel first time he squeezed him? So why now he is fleeing? Because he's doing poo poo. I mean, imagine you are doing poo poo. And, uh, and then suddenly you hear a uh, CP. You run away back. What the heck? I'm a liar, Qasim. Why you don't call me Qasim? It says in Arabic, Baraza. Baraza, if you mean Baraza, Tabaraza. What is the word Baraza in Arabic? Pupu. Baraza. Hello? Tabaraza. So when the, when, whatever the Rasul, he do Baraz, he do Pupu, he hear a voice and he flee. And even here it says, whenever he went out, He used to hear someone. So here you notice that Muhammad is having a mental issue because already Muhammad, he received tons of chapter in the Quran. Why is he fleeing? And then Waraka said to him, Hey, uh, Muhammad, why you don't wait? And so you hear what this guy want to tell you. So Muhammad, he says, uh, okay. So tell him. So Muhammad, again, the prophet remain in his place this time when the caller call him so that he hear that he has to tell him. And so when he went out again to do popo, he heard the calling, Oh, Muhammad. He said, There I am at your service. Muhammad said, I'm at your service. How you know that this guy is a good guy? Maybe it's shaitan. And the caller says, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. <laughs> so all this drama to say, I bear witnesses. No popo? Okay, prove me wrong. Call me. Qasim, call me. I'm going to call you. Hold on. Where is Qasim? <clears throat> Here we go. Let us put the headphone. Answer, answer, Qasim. It's not proper, right? Oh. Hey, Khasim. When you said in, uh, in the text you showed, okay. why you been a liar? Okay. What? It said, why you been a liar? It doesn't say poo on the... So what, it's, what it says? What it says? It says he fleed. It says whenever he came out, correct? He never, yeah, whenever he uh, went out, went out where? Out from his house, or will, so you, are you saying that the angel will not enter the house of the prophet? He never enter it. Only he speak to him when he go out. In this particular case, it was outside. So you no, as you see, you know, as you see, he only place. speak to him when he go out. No, sometimes you speak no, no. To according to you, according to you, he is not doing poo -poo. According to you, he went out. Okay, what the word uh, uh, doing? Poo -poo? Not, uh, what is the word doing poo, poo in Arabic? Is it biraz? I don't know. It's in English. What do you mean you do not know? What do you mean you do not know? You don't you speak Arabic? You speak Arabic, right? No, just a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, go and search. So how do you know that's a, I mean, you do not know and then you call me. I mean, this is stupid of you, my friend. So go check I'm it saying, out. I'm it says Baraza, the Baraza, you Barizu. The word Buraz, the word Buraz means shit. So whenever listen, you're a prophet, listen. he do go to do Buraz. Whenever he listen, go to listen. do Buraz, the, he hear the voice of the angel. Listen, the English you presented, it doesn't say poo poo or it doesn't say anything. Like because this is, your, this is your translation, but it says when he went out, everybody knows what went out means. What went out? I went out. When he I went out, he at, went. At, this is at night. He went out at night. He heard the voice. And why the angel don't yeah. speak to him in daytime? Why he wear, Why he wait for him until he want to go out? Well, that's a different story. What I'm saying to you, it doesn't say poo -poo, No, so because he is going that. out. So you're a liar. You're a prophet. He's going out to do poo-poo. Prove you liar. I said to you, I show it to you in Arabic. Well, I, I, I want to see in English. I want to see the translation. Well, this is your translation. Even here it says he went out. What he went out means? Explain to us. Whenever he went out. So if I go out, does that mean I will have a poo-poo every time? Yes. <laughs> yes, this is what it meant. 
كوا بيكسل بعد اوكي ويل هول هولد اون يو نو وات اي ويل جو وذ يور وذ يور ستيبيتي ناو ليت اس سي ذات يور بروفيت ديد نوت جو تو بوبو هي وينت اوت تو دو وات هي وينت اوت وير um you could have went to the cave you could have went for a walk you could okay have done a but do you see here he did not say he went where because simply went out is going to go boopoo so if he is going to the cave he will say went out to the cave went out to the market that's, that's, went out etc in the city but that's, here he stopped he's saying that's, so he when he stupid. went out he went out to do what that's very stupid to infer that like how can you how can you infer that i am that not I'm, i i have it in arabic go to the book of asbab and in arabic it says it says baraza muhammad baraza each time he do biraz and biraz means shit let me show you here we go hmm. i will open the dictionary hmm. which dictionary you like i, I can't trust your uh, statement Uh, dictionary. I mean, it's uh, it, it, uh, trust me. Who 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 is asking you to trust me? A Muslim trusting me? Who care if you trust me? You don't even trust Allah. Do you? Of course. No, you don't. Here we go. Otherwise, Muhammad will not will will not run away. Here we go. This is your. This is your dictionary. Let us put it in the screen. This is your dictionary, my friend, not my dictionary. This is the word in English, and this is the word in Arabic. So Muhammad, he go out to do biraz. This is why it says baraza. He get his pupu out. And this is again the word in Arabic. Here we go. Now, why your prophet was running away? He was. Uh, this is these are few encounters he had, so he was afraid of the, of like you know, you still you still at the initial stage where you'll be afraid of. He's afraid uh, from what? From what? Pardon? He's afraid of from, from what? He he doesn't know what's happening. Like what's uh, like you know the angel coming down, so he's not sure what's happening. So at, at the initial stage, he he was uh, he was shocked and uh, afraid of you know. It, it is it is a human reaction so it makes sense and it's okay it guys he said this is a human reaction reaction from what muhammad already spoke to the angel many time correct well when's the uh, time day on this what's, what's huh? the date stamp what what's the date stamp on this when do you know when did, uh, this happened maybe this was the this al -Fatiha, the al fatiha when al fatiha was given to muhammad uh well, i think that's one of the earliest surahs no i'm asking you No, tell me. No, it's not an early surah. What early surah? What when Al Fatiha was given to Muhammad? The early surah it was Al Alaq. Right? This is the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay. So when Al Fatiha Muhammad received it? Uh, so that's probably after the Fatiha. Five chapter after. So Muhammad already he's he heard the angel and he received hundreds of verses. Why now he's running away? What is unique about this occasion? It is night and he is doing poo poo. Otherwise, you need to tell me how he ran away for hearing the same angel, the same person who spoke to him, and he gave him hundreds of verses before. Are you there? So I'm just, yeah, I'm just reading it. So it says, um, yeah. whenever he went out, he used to hear. No, 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 no. Forget it. Forget. It. I'm going with your with your drama now. You said he ran away because he's afraid. He's afraid of from what? He heard this angel. The angel squeezed him already. He met him in person. He squeezed him like mayonnaise. And now already he received five chapters of the Quran. So why he's running away? Um, I don't know. Maybe he didn't know who, who it was. How he do not know? He spoke to him many times already. And as you see, he yeah, needed advice from yeah, Waraka. Yeah, Waraka, yeah, Waraka yeah. is the one. Do the angels? What uh, what happened? Is that the same Jibril or different Jibril? There's many Jibril in Islam. Who is the one delivered the Quran to Muhammad Jibril? Correct. What I'm saying is, he's still no, no, answer the question, please. If there's other angel deliver Quran to Muhammad besides Jibril or only Jibril? 
from what I know, it's only Jibreel. Thank you. So it must be the same person, the same voice. So why Muhammad is running away? You think you know someone after five uh, meetings? This is an angel. What five meetings? Hundreds of meetings. What five? Because five chapter, you know, in Islam, the chapter did not come all of them in one in, in, in one occasion. They come in many occasions. So Muhammad already, he spoke to this person, this guy you call him Jibreel, which is a theft from the Jews. And now he is running away. Why is running away? What is causing this uh, horror? And why he don't even don't stop? Why he don't say, who is this? As you see here, Waraka said to him, why you don't stop and see what he want from you? Read with me carefully. The message of Allah, give him peace and tathra. Whenever he went out to do popo, he used to hear someone calling him, oh Muhammad, hear someone. Did you see it says someone? Do you see it says someone? Someone, right? Okay. Uh, calling him. Okay, who is this someone? You said this is Jibreel, correct? He used to hear someone call, calling him Omar, okay. and whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Okay, and then Waraka, he said, he advised the Prophet to remain in his place when the caller call him so that he hear what he has to tell him. You agree with this? Um, I haven't checked. I don't know even if, if this uh, narration is sahih or not. Uh, what do you mean narration is sahih? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I mean, the second we said we showed him how stupid this cult is, they say, I'm not sure the relation, the relation is sahih or not sahih, brother. Okay, thank you, Kasim. Let your dad call me. Take care. What we would do with those people? The second, it's embarrassing. We do not know if this narration is sahih. It's embarrassing. And what the, the guy who is not a prophet telling Muhammad why you don't stop and ask him? And by the way, if Muhammad he run away, can the angel still talk to him? I mean, Muhammad he claimed that the angel he covered the horizon, which means wherever you run, you are still underneath of him. <laughs> Where you we go? An angel who is having 600 wings, and Muhammad he says he covered the horizon. So, what it mean that he run away? Still, the angel still can talk to him. Why you don't say to him, Oh Muhammad, I am, etc.? Why you say, Oh Muhammad, and you stop? Why the angel don't say to him, Muhammad, don't be afraid, I am, etc.? Why the angel, when he came to Mary, he says, Shalom to you, Mary, Salamu alaikum. But Muhammad, when the angel came to him, did not greet him with peace. Because this is something Muhammad he stole later from the Jews. In the beginning, there is no peace. <clears throat> He went to the Jews, he learned from the Jews, Assalamu Alaikum, he put it in his religion. Right? Yeah, Islam is the truth for idiots. Islam is the truth, Islam is a religion, believe that if I believe in Allah, Allah will give me women who their legs is up 24 hours, 7 days a week for eternity. Yeah, I believe that, that must be true. Islam must be true, brother. Only true God will give us vaginas. Fake God cannot do that. And he will make my private part endless and will never go sleep. I mean, obviously, this is a true God. Isn't it really obvious? What's wrong with people? Why they don't why they don't believe? And only prophet of God they promise such a promise. I'm really convinced. Religion of vagina and penises. That is religion of God of Islam. And this is what Islam is about. Until now, not a single Muslim could able to tell us what Islam is about. How many hours I'm here? We have 1,000 people watching at least. Give my challenge to Ustaz. My friend, there's nothing is called Ustaz in Indonesia. They are a bunch of idiots. They don't know anything about Islam. We challenge all those who call themselves sheikhs in Islam, in Indonesia, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Saudi Arabia, in Egypt. And we are here to stay, and Islam is dying. Every time Muslims watch my videos, they leave this cult, and Muslims can do nothing about it. And as you see, this is a stupid cult. It's a sexual cult. And if you want to know about the sexual cult of Islam, go and read my books, the last ones. Sex and Allah. I give it that name because this religion is about nothing but about sex. 
Sex and Allah. What is in this religion? Sex. What if I will what I will get if I believe in Allah? Sex. Private part. Dahman, Dahman. The Prophet he said Dahman, which means you will push harsh. I mean, I don't want to say what you know how dirty it is, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet saying that in the heaven we will push so hard when you do the boom boom? This is the prophet of God. I mean, if this is a prophet of God, so who what is Satan and what is pimp and what is what is that? Dahman, Dahman. How this is can be from God? Send your prophet to Thailand. Let him stand in front of the, one of those pimp houses, and he say, "Hey, in our house we do pimp, uh, Dahman, Dahman." He will be hired. He will get them one point four billion Muslims going to that pimp house. Here in our pimp house, we have your main member guaranteed secure, will never go flaccid or soft. Send him to Thailand. Sex business is booming there. Actually, I learned this word, you know, in Asia. A woman, she was working in the street. She said, sir, you want to do boom, boom? What the heck? Boom, boom? Dahman, Dahman. I mean, hey, come on, I can't explain. Like when you are having sex, you push hard. I mean, do I need to put a picture for you in the in the screen so you will understand? Because too much. Isn't it enough the picture in front of you in the in the screen? Brother? Look at this beauty. Anyway, this is what Islam is. Look, they keep asking me what is Dahman. I think this guy have a delay. <laughs> Somebody explain to him. Taking a private. <laughs> That's this is embarrassing. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you as you see not a single Muslim knows what Islam is about Islam is a very sexual cult pagan Muslims they kiss black stone just because their prophet he kissed a black stone as people used to do before him or a pagan they kiss black stone worship it because it's the vagina from the God the fertility who make them have babies they believe in Baal and Baal is nothing but a God of fertility and vagina is his tool this is why Muhammad he says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah and whoever kiss it, he kiss the hand of Allah. It's a pagan cult. Sexual is the major, sexuality is the major reason for it to exist. All of it is based on sexuality. While in Christ's teaching, it's based on holiness. Total holiness. In heaven, you see when the Muslim, they say we have one God, ask yourself, if we have one God, we should have the same heaven. I mean, it's very simple, right? Their heaven is nothing but a sex party garden, group sex. Even the Muslim, they admit that in heaven they will have sex with their mothers. You can go right now and search in YouTube, and you will you will find tons of videos of Muslims calling me live, and they say, "So what the problem if you have sex with your mother in heaven of Allah? What the problem?" And even they say there's no problem even the, if they have sex with their prophet. A man having sex with the man. What is the problem? No problem. It's hard to believe, but this is what it is. Well, I, I, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm not smart. Well, you, see, you, said, you said this Nothing guy is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In heaven, you can have sex with a goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have, you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. 
Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Nothing well, is sin. I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm not sin. smart we like listen. you. We think it's sin due to a social okay. structure. If, if, the, if they can make, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Nick, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Nick to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nick hmm. in heaven, hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Nick in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Anything, oh, anything can, happen. can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nick having sex with your sister in the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why your sister and Zach and Nick and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no right, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and morals, mm. yes, it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Look what Abbas he said. He said, a perfect example of ZB, authentic source. Okay, a Muslim uh, Abbas, what if you call me right now and I show you that you can have sex with your daughter in Islam and the mother of your daughter, if she is a daughter from adultery? From you are the one who said to me, Why we don't see what the scholar says, right? Do you want me to show you the scholars, Abbas? Be a man and say yes and call me immediately. And I will put it in the screen and I will make you read it like a puppy. Otherwise, if you don't accept, that's when you are a puppy. Do you accept, Abbas? I'm waiting for your answer, Abbas. Here we go. I'm showing the text. Is it true in Islam, according to your scholars and according to the Quran, you can have sex with your daughter who is a daughter from adultery, a daughter from marriage? Yes or no, Abbas? Abbas is thinking. Abbas is scratching his bum. Abbas is driving. But Abbas will not call me. What happened to you, Abbas? Aren't you the one who want authentic sources? Hello? Okay, Abbas is calling. It's a miracle. Yes, Abbas, how are you? What are you talking about, Abbas? I call you. I already tried to call you. Really, really, really. Okay. I, I'm a Muslim, you know? Muslim is not afraid of anything. You are a Muslim, not afraid, afraid of anything? Yeah, yeah right. Muslim only fear God. Muslim submit his will to God. Really? They have fear of nobody. Yes. So why are you sure? So why are you a prophet sure. you run away from Mecca? Prophet ran away from Mecca. Yeah. Uh, he stayed there 13 years with a, as a very brave man. 13 years. No, he so stayed, he, according, according to you Muslims, when they threat his life, he ran away. That's what you say. 13, 13 years he preached Protected there. by his family, not by him. Protected by his family. He was persecuted. He was thrown in the desert for two years. Do you remember that story? I, I, thought, I thought he ran away, not thrown away. Did he run away or he thrown away? He ran away. He, he ran was away. invited. He was invited in Medina, so he went there. Okay, so he ran away. So you Muslim, you fear, you fear. Yes, not, run, not run, not run away for the okay. sake of Islam. So Abbas, Abbas, as long as you Muslim, you fear no one. Why, yes. why you don't? Why you don't? Why, why you run away from your country and you came to England? Oh yeah. Well, okay. You can sue me. <laughs> yeah, but a second ago you said you Muslim we for no one but you go and live in the land of the kuffar Isn't it your prophet? He says the one who take them as a friend. He's one of them No, uh, so you mean the Muslims are allowed to go in the land of the kuffar? Well, your prophet sad. said the one who take them as a friend. He is one of them Do you no, 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 no. do you take no, the okay. do you take the British people your friends? Hello answer. Listen, do you take the people do you question. take do you, do, you, do, do you do you take the bridge people as a friend? 
You see, it's very important. I have to clarify your question because mm. you have a lot of stupid people listen to you. Your followers are real minions. Mm. I I never seen a bunch of stupid people. The, those who follow you, seriously, mm. okay, they no have problem. no clue. So now, what so when you said, so when you said you why you come to the land of the kafar, implication is mm. that Islam does not allow you to go to the land of kafar. Yes, I want Muhammad you to say, show me. Your prophet says. To, Yeah. Your prophet Listen, said, your prophet said, Man al -qawma sara minhum. the one who lived with, between them for 40 days is one of them. You have to do hijrah. That's why hijrah. This show, is me, why... Show, me that, show me that hadith and show, me, show us the context he said. Okay. Because remember, he sent his own Muslim to Habasha. To Abyssinia. Have what? Abyssinia. He sent Muslims to Abyssinia. To have a refuge in Abyssinia, and Abyssinia is a Christian land. Ibn Ibn Wat Ibn Wat Ibn Wat Ibn Wat What 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 Ibn Wat. He sent Muslims to Abyssinia. Yes. What Abyssinia? What does that mean? Abyssinia, where with the Najashi was the king. He sent the Muslims to Abyssinia to take refuge. Because they were persecuted in Makkah. Yeah, because he's a coward. A second ago, we said we don't feel uh, uh, So he went. So he went to a Christian king. He went to a Christian king asking for refuge. Do you agree? Yeah. No, not him. He didn't go there. No. He sent. Your prophet. Your, sent your prophet did not go to the king of Ethiopia. No, he didn't go to Abisha. He didn't go to Abyssinia. He sent Muslims to Abyssinia. I thought he your prophet. I thought your prophet. He, he went. I thought, your, I thought your prophet. He went to Ethiopia. No, he did not go to Ethiopia. Okay. Do you have anything valid to say? Or you just, <laughs> it's, it's just okay. you are let, let, let us go. So you will not answer me if you are taking the, the the Egyptian as a friends or not. Do you take them as a friends? Yes or no? Who? You. Do you take the Egyptian people as a friend? The kuffar. Do you take them Egyptian. as a friend? Do you take them as a friend? Yes or no? I, I can take anybody as my friend, of course. Is, is that Islamic? Absolutely. Mm. Can you show me the reference? So. Well, you forgot you have bad memory. I told you that's not friend. That's okay. the Aliyah. Aliyah means protectors. Aliyah does so not only is, mean friend. Do you, do, mean you protect do you accept the government of England to be your protectors? Absolutely. They are my you friend. just a second ago you said to me. Only I mean protectors, yeah. so you should not take them as a protectors. A second ago, a second ago, you just say that. Yeah. Okay. But so if you cannot take them as a protectors, and if you take them as a protectors, according to you, that's mean you are oh. not a Muslim. So how do you say yeah. to me that sorry, you take them as you accept them as protectors? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I meant friends. Ah, I can take them as okay. So you do you don't accept the police of England as your protector? Do you? They are protecting the general public. No, you're a protector. I'm talking about you. Do you accept the police of Indonesia to be your protector? I answer, I, I answer you. I answer you now. I go back to the uh, uh, Abyssinia, the uh, incident of Abyssinia. This is not the yeah. question. I'm asking you. The Quran says, <laughs> what in Abyssinia? Hold on, Abyssinia. hold on, hold on. Are you there as a refugee? Who? You. Me? Are you in England now as a refugee, like Ibn Sinia? Are you my lawyer? I'm asking you. Are you a refugee or a citizen in that I land? I'm, I'm ne I was never a refugee. Okay, so you are. You cannot compare yourself to that idiot. Now answer me. The Quran says, yeah, "Take them not as yeah. friends or protectors." Do you accept the British government as yeah. your government? Friends. Do you accept? Friends. Do you yeah. accept? You accept the British government as Do your you know, government? I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Mm. Listen to me now carefully. Listen mm. and learn. Mm. When uh, Islam says, "Do not take Jews and Christians or, uh, or pagans uh, as your protectors," mm. meaning at that time. At Muslims that time, were in fight. at that time, yeah, yeah. Listen to me. Okay. Muslims were in fight and war with them. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. At that time, at that, at that time. Okay, where it says that this is only for that time. Oh, that's the, that's the whole context. Where read, uh, open up your tafsir. It says, and speak your... not. Okay, which tafsir you want? Okay, which tafsir, 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 tafsir you want? I will spank you in the front of everybody. You are a big okay. potato, which... and you will be fried right now. What tafsir you want? Okay. Okay. Yeah, which 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 verse you were talking about? Tell me, tell me, no, tell me tafsir first. Which tafsir you want? Okay, the one the one you can't take your fathers and your brothers as your protectors. Hmm. Okay. Which one? Which one? Right. But which one? What tafsir you want? Um, less open Maududi and Maududi, Dudi Dudi, and Maududi himself, he lived in the West.
Uh, yes, he did, sir. <laughs> Give me a scholar. Yeah. Not a guy who wrote a book yesterday. Give me a scholar. Give me a scholar. Give me a scholar. He is a Muslim who did not do what the Muslim today do. Not somebody is born yesterday. Don't say to me, let me give you the interpretation of Shabir Ali. Give me a scholar, yes. like Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Kathir. Which one? Oh, so I have to give you a scholar which you like, yeah? Subhanallah. No, not what no. you like. No, a scholar, a real scholar. Not somebody wrote a book yesterday. If you are a lesson. Al Maududi, Al Maududi, is he a scholar in Islam? Hold on, hold on. I want I want I will show everybody the hypocrisy. Is Al Maududi a scholar in Islam? Of course he's he's one of the greatest scholars of the last Okay, give me give me give me Tafsir Al Maududi. I I thought you already have it. No, you have it. You are the one who named it. Give me the tafsir. I don't have it here. Do we have it in this website? Do we have it in this website? Yeah. If we have it in this website, yeah, I, will, I will show it. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Do we have it in this website? We have a translation of Al Maududi. Give me Al Maududi and I will make you read it in the front of everybody. I don't yeah, see it. I, I would, even, would even give you. I can't send it. I, I'm not the, the savvy in my. What do you mean? Okay, hold on. The internet. Me, I will find it. Tafsir, tafsir Al Maududi. Hold, you know, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you will accept Al Maududi, right? You will accept Al Maududi. You will, you will accept Al Maududi. Do, do you accept? Hey, hey, hey! Do you accept Al Maududi? Yes or not? Um. Yeah, I do. No, don't yeah, mean. Do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you or you do not? <laughs> Listen, the ideology of Islam. Do you accept? Is no, stop being a coward. I want you to make a promise. Whatever Al Maududi say, you accept. Yes or no? Okay. Only in one condition. Condition. Only in one condition. What conditions? Yeah, yeah. Because you, when you read something, you Abdul, don't accept everything. What's like wrong with you? Why are you are being a coward? Do you accept the Sir Al Maududi? Yes or not? Okay, what what are we talking about here? Let let's clarify what exactly was. Shut we up, about you here. donkey idiot! Get out of here. He want Al Maududi, and now we say, okay, do you accept Al Maududi? He don't want to say yes. He want to put conditions because he's a potato, coward, like your prophet. So what I will do with you now? Okay, Al Maududi. Okay, we go to Al Maududi. He don't want Al Maududi now. <laughs> because he never read the book he just mentioned the name he did not know what is there he never saw the book he's a potato he just throw a name at me uh, Al Maududi because he heard that Al Maududi is more acceptable by the western so we we quote Al Maududi okay Maududi so can we accept Dudi Nudi Moody he don't want to say yes so why you give me the name of the book, you potato? Put conditions first. What condition you eat? You are the one who chose the book. How you can put conditions? How you can put conditions if you are the one who chose the book? <laughs> Like you can say to me, I put conditions that you will give me a tafsir, I accept. But now you are the one who choose it. So what is your excuse? What conditions you want? Stupid. You are literally a stupid kid. You are not mature. And people will laugh at you. It's amazing how you know they are just a bunch of kids. Do you see what we do? And here, oh, hold on. Do you do you know what I found? He's a stupid Al Maududi. Don't even have to seer for that verse. Here we go. This is Al Maududi. Look at this donkey. He asked me to read Tafsir al Maududi, chapter 5, from 48 to 50. Okay. We click here, 48 to 50, and then there's 51. Where is 51? There's no 51. <coughs> it's gone. There's from 52 to 53. 
there's from 48 to 50 but the verse 51 is not exist so you stupid even you do not know which proving that you did not read the book that verse interpretation is not exist in the book of al maududi that means you are a certified donkey why he drop it huh because it's embarrassing he might get arrested if he inter give interpretation where is the verse you said to me al mawdudi okay here mawdudi huh there's 48 to 50 and then there's from 50 50 sorry 52 and after there's no 51 stupid Anyway, guys, I think we have enough uh, for today. I hope you have, guys, you have a good time. Don't forget, please, to download the video. As you know, we don't keep them in the in our channel. Uh, wait like for 20 minutes, the video will be loaded, and you can download it. And the first one who download the video, I will post his videos in different channels, so people will get get more subscriptions to you. So I want to say thank you for being here. If you like to learn more about the Abdulism cult, which is nothing but a collection of stupidity, and as you see, the Muslims, because they are afraid from answering they give no answer conditions which book you approve conditions which book you 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 think it's good conditions which is book is the authentic conditions anything they don't like they say it's fabricated even though it's written by their scholars by their religion by their hands printed shipped published by them for centuries and now it is not authentic because it is embarrassing the fact is, Islam is embarrassing. And you can find all of this in my books if you like to read and learn more. Thank you for everybody who come here and support us. And I hope to see you tomorrow if I can. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.